Um, coming into camp, we had a few things. We've already explained all our concepts to you that we try to teach. So here's what we saw that we thought we needed to fundamentally adjust in your stance to make you better. Number one is you were overextended downfield. You had that ball too far out in front of you. And what that does is it pulls a lot of your weight forward in the stance, kind of putting you in an off-balance setup to begin with. The other thing it does is it pulls your front end down low to the ground, your head and shoulders, so there's not a lot of operating room. Especially once you get the helmet and pads on, you get to feel really cramped in there, really restricted. Could lead to some bad habits like raising up, hitching to create some space and stuff like that. Um, you've got a steep slope as a result of the fact that your front end's pulled down low and you didn't have a lot of leg bends. You kind of had your rear high in the air. And what we mean by steep slope is the relationship between shoulders and hips. You and I have talked about that arrow concept where energy travels down the spine through the hips to target, up through the legs into the hips, and those two energies combine and converge in an arrow point. Wherever that arrow is directed, that's where your ball is going to go. So if you've got a steep slope, you're setting yourself up to snap high. Main reason for that is if you're steep, you're going to tend to hang on to the ball past the legs, and anything past the legs, the only place your arms are going to swing is in an upward arc. So we really need to, uh, we need to make sure that we flatten you out a little bit. Essentially what we need to do is raise you up on the front end, head and shoulders higher off the ground. That will move you vertically further from the ball, allowing you to bring it closer but still have a great arm extension. And then the next thing we need to do is push your weight back into the hips and increase knee bend, settle you down on the back end a little deeper into the stance. So we're flattening you out by raising the head and shoulders higher off the ground, lowering the rear closer to the ground, and then just positioning you with the knees over the toes to make sure you're balanced. Now the last thing that we really think you ought to work on is you kind of jab at the follow through. Part of that may be you might be used to falling over and being off balance. We get you balanced, we need you to finish it, get those hands through, thumbs to the sky, really train for that muscle memory so you finish strongly every time. Every time That'll make you much more accurate and consistent. Make sense? Okay. We also talked about TV drill so you can get a better spiral, but I don't think I'm seeing that problem. You've been spiraling pretty well, haven't you? Yeah, okay. TV drill just means lay down in front of the TV, practice rolling the ball off, off all ten fingers by snapping it up to the sky you know, a few feet. Try not to hit the ceiling. Mom might get mad at you. But go ahead and hop in here real quickly. First thing we're going to do is manipulate you. We're going to put you through the three-step stance optimization, okay? You ready? Okay, first thing I do is pull you forward. Go ahead and lean on the ball. That gets knee bend to 90 or less, straightens the back, and fully extends the arms. Then I'm going to raise you up, maximizing operating room under your torso. Last thing I'm going to do is push you back into the hips towards your target. Notice this is not down to the ground, but back towards your target till the heels touch the ground, knees are on the toes, you're solid on your feet. That ought to feel pretty comfortable, does it? It looks like a solid athletic snapping stance. Give it a good hard two-handed throw. Very nice, okay. Now one thing I just noticed, your left arm, it's kind of elbow locked out. See if you can relax that just a bit because if it's more relaxed, it's just gonna come through quicker and more cleanly. Stiff arm creates tension. You gotta fight through that in the process of accelerating the football. It's gonna slow you down. Okay, go ahead and set up again. So coming in, you had the ball too far out in front of you. That was pulling you down low. You were tall on the back end. So we raised the head and shoulders higher, lowered the back end, settled you back, and got the knees over the toes. See that? Pretty quick, all combined. Might be slightly under -sent. Let's raise your head and shoulders just a touch. Does that feel comfortable? Sure. This is the elbow. That looks good. No, that looks good where you are. You comfortable with that? Give it a good hard throw. Feel pretty good. I probably had you a little underextended that time. So let's do it once more. Let's make sure we get it right. <laughs> So you were overextended, tall in the back, raised you up, the ball came closer, but set it down for good arm extension. Settle you back and in, and then position the knees over toes. Does that feel good? Yes, sir. Let's get that ball a little further out in front of you. Just make sure it doesn't pull your weight forward, okay? Yes, Solid, two-handed throw, go ahead. That right there is awesome, how's it feel? Your follow through's better, you're solid on your feet, so you're able to finish the snap instead of cutting it short, which is gonna hurt your accuracy. You comfortable with those ideas? Any questions? Okay. Okay, Dustin, what we did in camp is we raised the front end off the ground. No, just go. Front end off the ground a little bit, sat you a little deeper in the stance and got you balanced. We raised up, sat you down, got you balanced. Feel pretty solid? Give it a good hard two-handed throw. Excellent. Pretty good balance. So we raised you up, sat you down, got you balanced. You feel solid on your feet? Okay. Good hard two-handed throw. Excellent job.